Okay, so I finally find out how, why we are getting an error. Why, why when we are on the upload yearly report, we the 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 system is not inputting any values because when I check this great yearly report uh, in both workflow, I notice here that the out yearly report variable or arguments is in in direction. So we need to edit that so open that workflow go to the arguments here we need to change it to out that's why we are not getting this value so after you change that there's no other thing that we need to update on this workflow just save that now close it and going back here on this invoke create your live report that's assign the, the variable again that's id Port here that to string the report download path should be the yearly report path unknown sorry this should be the uh, con let's I am config uh, reports download path if I'm not mistaken string and this should be the yearly report path right so I will run another test after this or maybe I can just pause it and resume the recording once we are close to the upload sequence Yes. Okay, now we have the file name called uh, Yep, it's good. It was able to upload the the first yearly report so let me just uh, test this offline and let you know it, it will be able to process the next item okay so I was able to to monitor the program and I was able to upload three to four uh, yearly report continuously so I believe that it will work until the last item based from the orchestrator queue so I did not and make any update or edits on our uh, project so I hope that if you were able to copy everything if you follow everything that we did for this project you should be able to have your generate yearly report performer working okay so by the way I just want to inform you that there's there are many ways to do some things that I did on this project so the, those items that I add that I made that was not part of instruction is maybe part of those experience that I've learned from the previous project and exercise so um, I just want to uh, let you know that there are there are probably a lot of ways to do things especially here in the UI path and I enjoy using this software so I hope you too compared to some 
RPA software that I've used so I hope that you will be able to complete this and be certified especially for UI path so if you have any question please make sure to put that on the comment section below and I'd like to apologize for those um, uh, uh, watching my video and having question that I wasn't able to answer immediately because I also have some work to do and I just got some uh, small time to work on this channel but I hope I was able to help those that are also uh, working or learning or studying this UI path platform thank you for watching please make sure to subscribe to this channel thank you and have a great day